National Anthem. Nothing amongst that is the best. Round one, two minute rounds here, establishing the movement, trying to stay out of harm's way. There's a powerful aura coming from Katie Taylor, isn't there? Just the way she walks in and the way she carried it as we get to the final seconds of the first round, and we will have to get used to it. As a more experienced runner, I would think it would be the opposite, but Taylor, made it. she's doing the right thing. The thing about Taylor, she may not be doing or landing a lot in his ring generalship and, and making Serrano back up. I mean, it's power. I noticed that too, Ray. That's the first thing I noticed in the Gregor and the Gregor look for his level of experience. Boxed decently. Taylor firing in again, full leverage on the right hand. It's a short right hand. And there it is again. Looking to close the gap, coming in, firing. And round. Do we like two minute rounds? Ray, you first. Good right hand caught, Serrano. I wish wasting time. They don't, they don't really fill each other out. They start off energetic. Not in her head. Serrano moving her head though. Made her miss. Got caught with the hook there to the bottom. And and LZ told us yesterday that hey, you could you could feel the pop for the right hand. Now a combination and a good hook coming right. Big shots instead of combination shots, which is normally not her forte. Hasn't all been dominance, but she has started off 10 and 0 as a professional, and she looks everybody that laces up gloves, not as a female fighter, but as a fighter. I noticed uh, the last round that. Uh, Katie did uh legs feel heavy and that's what Taylor's doing. I think that's the reason she's applying so much pressure. Oh, like a three-punch combination. Her Correct. her jab right hand and following with a hook is You're walking it down. So upper, upper, upper cut right. as well. 147. This is at lightweight. Looks like she's breaking her down. Ooh, now good right hand. hand there. And following up, and you can beginning to connect. Harder and harder shots. Another right hand. Game plan on, on uh, Katie Taylor's part. The fact that she wanted, she didn't want to really, and stalking her. She's been stalking her from the first round, putting that that, that pressure on her. Talked about her run against top competition where she was uh, without a win in six straight. Taylor back in, starts with a, a lead right hand. Hard right hand to the body. Come off with a hook right after the right hand. And she stops and says, let's fight. <laughs> All right, didn't expect the warfare. All right. I know it's not normally the past two rounds have been more and more going to Katie Taylor. Certainly, body shots. Well, Serrano is upset. She can do something about it. That's true. Very physical, this fight, Katie Taylor is. Connects with the right hand again. Back, back her up with the right hand again. Oh, it's proving itself. I mean, this is an exciting fight. And to try to cut that ring out. If Cindy Serrano has proved anything in her career, that every time she steps up, she loses. She got to the, 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 the upper level. She started losing. And that rocked the jaw of Serrano. Oh, Serrano oh, is absorbing a good. You see that cop that rock? She knows how not to engage and get in danger to survive. Yeah. Taylor is definitely connected looking. with the right hand. Just says, well, I'll stop the fight if you keep holding. But she's better that. The fighter and cut another fighter, but it really wasn't in danger. That Taylor seconds. Katie Taylor says, "Bring it." She has brought it all night. Good job by Cindy Serrano to finish this fight. Great champion of the world, Katie.